it is october but it is going to be a hot one today it's going to be in the 90s in south dakota here and so i just thought you know it's a fall day but yet it's not feeling like fall so we've had our normal it's a monday morning so monday morning routine of getting ready it's my laundry day of doing sheets so i've already got two loads going and I have my sourdough sandwich loaf bread I'm gonna make, and that will be something I do every Monday because we eat then breads throughout the week. Mom, I'm gonna help us this game. Okay. And the two girls are outside on the deck getting some fresh air, and then we're gonna probably head out anyways, and Elias will go down for his nap, um, just because we need to get some fresh air in before it gets too hot, and it's supposed to be really windy, so. Today I also have a fun fall soup with some butternut squash and some beans and yeah, still still making the soups even though it's gonna be really hot, but it's just that fall-esque feel. The trees are changing, but I wanna be in shorts and a t-shirt type of weather. And it's supposed to get cooler the rest of the week though, thankfully. I'm ready for like fall to hit and not just a spike with heat. So I hope you enjoy coming along today and I'm gonna make up some of that bread dough. I do have to say there's just something beautiful about fresh cut flowers. Some of my yellow and white mum, some sage, some cosmos and zinnias blooming. It's just so fun to still be able to bring these fresh blooms into the house. Caterpillar. Is that a fuzzy caterpillar? Mm -hmm. It's what, what colors are it? Is it? Rocket. And worm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> where are you gonna go? I don't know. I think it's gonna eat. up there kitten don't get stuck yeah yeah katie yeah do you belong to somebody so a little kitten showed up in our backyard and so i thought i'd post it on facebook if it belongs to anybody around because it seems pretty friendly and i don't think it's a wild cat or kitten so we'll see if anyone takes it we don't need a stray kitten because we have our dog that we love so we're probably not gonna keep a little kitten, but hopefully someone takes it and says it's theirs because it's just it's too cute and precious. So I hope someone comes to claim it. Nope, Nadia. Good job, Nadia. Now we have to okay, do let's do the lower case. Frog. Yep. Alright, it is about 12.45. The girls are down for quiet time and nap time. Elias will go down here shortly. I'm finishing up my tincture with some stevia sweetened drops I had. The tincture is a postpartum tincture that my midwife recommended. I am over four weeks postpartum, but it just helps get those hormones rebalanced. Um, I did have a whole blood panel done after my four month mark postpartum just to see where I was at. And there were definitely some things low for me. And so making sure to get those back up with the foods we eat, 
is the way I want to go, the route I want to go. So um, I've heard and my midwife said that oftentimes after you have a boy, your testosterone levels just drop and mine did and then my estradiol or estrogen was almost non-existent on the blood panel. So there's some things that I'm trying to really work on just to get my hormones back in, chen in check. Uh, things like brain fog happen, a lot of loss of hair, I know that's postpartum anyways, um, just kind of like feeling in the dumps and depression. I don't feel like I have that so much, but you know, taking a tincture, taking enough vitamin D, um, eating the right foods like salmon and asparagus and um, fat, you know, that helps all the hormones and things and back in check. So I'm gonna eat my lunch, I'm gonna have a smoothie, and I put like, collagen in it, protein powder. I ate some deer bologna with the family too as well. But yeah, if you are postpartum and you're struggling with some things, it doesn't hurt to get a whole blood panel done just to see where you're at. They don't recommend till about four months postpartum just so that um, your hormones are a little bit more back in line. But that way, if that is why maybe you're acting a different way, you're tired or things like that, it could be because you're low on something. But anyways, I'm gonna work on this and then prep supper. I'm gonna make a butternut black bean squash or butternut squash black bean soup for supper tonight with that um, homemade sandwich loaf that I have rising right now. All right, so nap time is over. The girls are watching a Berenstain Bears. I just enjoy that show so much. It brings back some memories and it always has such good lessons. But anyways, I got some video editing done for a video that you'll have already seen, some meals of what we eat throughout the week. And then I'm gonna do the rest of my pickled beets cause it's a fall harvest of my beets and I've also gotten some from the Hutterites. So I'm gonna do that up and can those. And I got most of supper prepped already. The rest is like some coconut milk, some canned black beans. And then I'm gonna make my latte and then I'll have to feed Elias too. He's been really tired today. So I'm gonna take care of some of that stuff while they watch their 20 minutes of Berenstain Bears and um, just get some more of those things done here in the kitchen. in the fall. It's all red, then there's some yellow, and then there's some green.
So the soup came together really well and I have some homemade bread that we're gonna have with it. My husband is actually outside trying to figure out this kitten issue here. I think we're gonna just call a friend who takes strays in because it's been stuck up in our tree since 10 this morning and it's six right now. So it needs a home and it needs a place to go. So I think they're gonna have this person come and get it. So it at least has a safe place to go because it's so hot today, it probably needs some water. So hopefully we can figure this whole thing out and the kitten can get a lovely home and um, be safe and down from that tree. So I'm gonna keep working on supper here. I made like a little uh, makeshift apple crisp with um, maple syrup, sweetened crunchy top. I have an apple crisp recipe on my blog with like brown sugar and cane sugar, but I am trying to not be on any types of those sugars right now, like maple syrup and honey I've been having, but other than that, I've been just doing the natural sweeteners. So um, I made that up because I had some green apples that needed to be used. So we'll have that for dessert as it's in the oven right now. Mm -hmm. 